Welcome to Thailand, a country known for its gorgeous landscape, bustling streets and their epic food scene. This place has always been special to us as we spent nearly two years of our lives living here and we are so happy to be back. Come with us as we start a new series through Thailand where we'll go from the welcoming and vibrant streets of Bangkok to the calm and serene turquoise waters of the south. Think gorgeous sunrises and incredible food. And of course, we're going to soak up every bit of sun that we can. But today, it's all about Bangkok and the epic new experiences it has to offer. We've just woken up, well, we've woken up a moment ago, gotten ready and come outside. If you watched our last video, you'll know that we stayed, or we are staying here at the quarter on Nut. Very nice hotel, slept like babies. And now it's time to do some more exploring of Bangkok. We've been here many times before, but there are so many new things that either we never knew about or are brand new since we were here last time. So that's the plan for today. So we're staying in the Onnut area, which is, you could call it outside of the main city center of Bangkok. But as you can see behind me here, that's the BTS. So we're gonna jump on the BTS, go into the middle of town, uh, I think it's about six stops or seven stops to Siam, which is right in the heart of Bangkok. And then we're gonna go up to, we're gonna go up to something that's on the 58th floor for a coffee, which is quite an interesting um, concept, but you'll see what I mean when we get there. Yeah. It, it looks awesome, I've seen it online, and we have to start the day off with a coffee, don't we? Obviously. <laughs> Yeah. Come on! <laughs> it's so nice to be back in Bangkok. It is super loud, it is very chaotic, but we love it. We met so many people over the last few months that really don't vibe with Bangkok. They say they stayed here for two nights and then they left, but most of them stay in like really, really central areas, but we like to stay somewhere more outside of the city centre. and. It's just nice. It is really nice. I mean, I think it's kind of like Marmite. Some people love Bangkok, like us. And some people just think it's not for them. So we need to take a BTS from Onnut to St. Louis, 94 baht. For both of us? Yeah. Buses. Yeah. Can you see that? That's how cold it is inside that train. <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> we always do that the first time, don't we? Yeah. We try to tap out and it's like, no, no, you give your card back into the machine. But Bangkok has some brilliant transport systems. I mean, that was very air conditioned, very swift. I think, although it's, it was meant to take an hour. Yeah. It didn't really feel like it took an hour, but maybe it did. We're currently looking for a place called the Arabica in the Bangkok Empire Tower. Now we're in the Empire Shopping Centre, yeah. but we need to go all the way up to the 58th floor there. People have told us that it's pretty hard to find. Yeah, I, uh, apparently you have to go down to go up. So I'm thinking, do we go down here and try to walk through? Yeah. You think? Because that sounds like down then up. Oh. 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 <gasps> okay. This way. Oh. An entrance. <laughs> that was a random door we went through. <laughs> that was, should we just ask this guy? Yep, this is where it is. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> sit down. No, I'm gonna sit down. Let's see what it's like. I've just seen the view. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. <gasps> that is so cool. Wow. So that's the King Power of Mahana Khan, yeah. right? Wow. That is cool. This is Arabica Coffee, a brand new coffee shop on the 55th floor of the Empire Tower with one of the best views in Bangkok. 
today we're having some maple coffees with a pastry to start the day off right. Wow, it looks so nice. All right, we've got our uh, coffees. I went for two maple coffees, which I think has maple syrup in. But look at the art on that, it looks amazing. It's really pretty. I think we probably have the best view in a coffee shop that you can have <laughs> in Bangkok, probably. I mean, this is a brilliant view. It's obviously very, 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 very popular. Could do with a touch more sugar, in my opinion. There's sugar syrup there. Yeah. yeah? You want a cube of sugar or sugar syrup? Just the one? Or do you want two? The two. <laughs> You're very predictable, aren't we both? Let's try it now. Oh. Better? Better. There's not that many seats in this place. There's probably 15, 20 seats altogether. They're all facing outwards. Yeah. But you don't want to be sat anywhere else. And there's a sofa in the corner also, but you wouldn't want to be sat there if this was the view. But everyone pretty much gets the gorgeous view, although there are some seats that are better than others. Like these two next to us have unobstructed view, whereas we have this sort of middle panel. So if you do think, I'm gonna go up there for a very sick photo shoot, opt for those two. I know we're not in France right now, but with the pastry looks like that. Bangkok does good pastries as well. This is gonna be crunchy. Okay, see if you can hear this. Good? Yeah, good. It's very flaky. <laughs> Cheers, my love. Cheers. Are you happy to be back in Thailand? Mm, loving it. It's a crazy city, but I love it. For two coffees and a pan au chocolat, it was 420 baht, which is a little bit pricier for Thailand, yeah. but for this view. I would say totally worth it. Good coffees too, and a nice pan au chocolat. They don't have that many food options. You basically come here for the coffee. So if you like coffee and you like good views, this is your place. Once we go down now, I'll show you how to find this place. <laughs> We'll give you some detailed information. Okay, so you need to come into the Empire sort of shopping center. I'll put the link in the description box and then you walk in, but go down one floor, down yeah. these steps. Uh, depending on where here. you come in from, if you come in on like around this area, you come in on the right floor. But where you need to follow is this thing that says, next to the thing that says EA, <laughs> there's like a door that looks like it's going somewhere really fancy and they open the door for you and you think, oh, I'm probably in the wrong place. No, you're not and then they'll just point you to the right direction. I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah. it's right through there. <laughs> Even though the AC is freezing on the BTS, it's always nice to cool down a bit from the scorching Bangkok heat. It is middle of the day now. The sun is nice and toasty, but we got a little bit of shade here in Benja Kitty Park, which is right next to actually the first hotel we stayed in after we came out of quarantine in 2020. Now we're in 2024, which is absolutely insane. And the next place we're gonna check out is right behind me, which somehow, since we left Bangkok and came back, has shot up and completed itself. Well, they obviously completed it with loads of workers, but they've been working on this for such a long time, so I'm super excited to head in. But before we do, we've got a very exciting announcement to make. This is something that we wanted to do for a really, really long time, and we finally got the opportunity to host a group trip with you guys. But before we can do it, there's a couple of things that need to be sort of ground worked. So, we need to host a survey, which is basically a short list of questions to ask you guys, do you want to go Thailand? Do you want to go Vietnam? Do you want to go somewhere in Europe? What's your budget? And what do you want to do when you're there? Do you want to chill, sunshine, good food? Do you want an activity, boat trip? Yes, 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 islands. There's absolutely no commitments in this survey. It's just a feeler, just so we know how many people might be interested. And the more people that do sign up, the more likely that the trip is to happen. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, if you have never been to Thailand before, Vietnam before, or you just want to travel with like-minded people, then just put your name down. Or you just want a holiday. I mean, this survey is for everyone. So please just fill it in if you're interested. Yay, thank you. So the shopping center that we're going to is called the M Sphere. Adriana's super excited because there's an Ikea in the shopping center. It is. 
is a whole floor. I think the third floor is just dedicated to Ikea, which means that look, I can just get some home comforts, some Swedish food, yeah. maybe some Swedish baked goods, you know. You can't miss the sign, can you? No, <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Yay, but I'm also excited about seeing the inside of the shopping mall. It looks very cool. Yeah. It looks very modern, you know? Yeah. And this walkway was never here before. So you can walk now from Prom Pong BTS station in the, uh, in the shade. You don't have to walk out in the sun. It looks like it's two buildings. So you walk in through this walkway here and there's a sort of 3D screen right in front of us here, which is really cool. And then this building is the M Sphere, but then also this big building here. It looks huge. It, it does look gigantic. I mean, it's gonna be pretty big to have a whole IKEA in it, right? Yeah. Shall we? Yeah, let's go inside. Wow. First thing you see is that this place is huge. Yeah, it is, it is really, really huge. Look up there. Basically, a staircase that goes all the way up to the motherland. Ikea. <laughs> now I know in here, actually I see a sign right behind you. There's a sign. There's a beach club in this shopping mall, which we obviously have to check out because that sounds like a really cool concept. And I like a good drink from time to time. Maybe we can grab some food later as well. Oh, 100%. I think they have a whole food court down there. Yeah, the food courts usually in Thai shopping centers are amazing. You can't fault them. They're so good and usually they're quite affordable as well. Although this is a fancy shopping mall, so maybe a little bit less so. <laughs> Holy moly. It's like a dragon here. And then down here is all the sort of food stalls that we will have to go later. This is all food. Can you smell it? Yeah. It smells so good. I saw the whole food. Um, there's like a list of all the different food places they have downstairs. I just wanted to check which desserts they have because that's something that I definitely want to know. And they've got so many and I wanted to look with you which ones you'd want to try later so, oh, so I can get wow. excited. I mean, what's that? That looks delicious. Like, I don't know what that even is. Everything looks amazing. Like, look at that donut there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go this way. Sorry. <laughs> I got sidetracked by dessert. Look at that. Oh, it's so bright. This is what I love about Bangkok though. You've got like the traditional Bangkok and then you have super modern. The most high-tech modern. Whoa, right, fantastic. Disco, 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 disco. Yeah. <laughs> Let's head up a few floors to one of my favorite shops for a slice of home. Should we get Dumle? Yeah, I love Dumle. Actually, I don't think I've had it in a bar before. I normally buy these, <laughs> but that's too much and it's gonna melt. It's like fudgy, gooey, with like, with like chocolate and crispy bits. There's quite a small shop here, this IKEA. It's like not all that much, which yeah. is okay. The whole shop is this big. Well, <laughs> they also sell furniture and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but the whole food shop, which is the only one we're interested in because we're not buying any furniture right now. But I think this will do nicely. Just a little tie this over, yeah. you know, for lunchtime. I'm gonna say, hey. <laughs> oh. That actually, oh, that smell. Sentimental. It's so sentimental, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh, how good. The only way I can explain this to anyone from the UK who's watching is that it tastes like a boost bar. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it doesn't. And it's the same consistency no, as a boost doesn't. bar. The only chocolate bar that I hate in the UK is boost. It doesn't taste like boost. He's lying to you. Okay, well, we can agree to disagree mm. about the boost. But we but can agree that it's delicious. Yeah. Yes. This is what I love about shopping centers in Bangkok. There's a Lamborghini shop right here. Look at this dream car right there. Oh my God. I've just found our dream car. Where? <laughs> here. I do like that. It's a nice color, isn't it? It is a nice color. I like that. Is that what you want? Yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this place is If everyone is subscribes crazy. or watches, we yeah. might be able to get one of these. <laughs> Nothing else. We won't have a home. We won't have anything else. We'll just have that. <laughs> Perfect. Brilliant. That's what we need. 
That's enough cars for today. On the fifth floor of the M-Sphere is the first and only Sky Beach Club in Bangkok. This place is called Tribe, and it's a bar with an infinity pool looking out over the city. And it even has a live DJ. It's family-friendly during the day, but apparently it's the place to be at night. Right in front of us is just a lovely pool. And then the Bangkok skyline here, you can see the M-Sphere there. And we were just down in that uh, garden speaking to you a few moments ago. And like. You can probably see in my hair, it's really breezy up here. Not windy, just breezy. It is nice and hot because we are outside, but inside and there's fans going. You can probably hear the music, loads of people. They, she did say that there is a minimum spend in the evenings, but because we're here sort of in the middle of the day, there isn't. So we can sit at the front, no problem. Hey, Pam. Oh, that looks so nice. <laughs> wow, oh, <laughs> thank you. Wow, look how cool that is. Ah. Mm. Oh, that's strong. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh yeah, this one's on with grapefruit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa. This one's strong. That one's strong too. You can tell we don't drink a lot. Every time we drink something, it's like, oh, this is strong. Even the wines in the <laughs> wine tour in the Hunter Valley, like, oh, this is strong. <laughs> there are a lot of food places down here. It's two floors of food. I think we're going to be spoiled for choice here. <laughs> There's a lot of places. Yeah. Yesterday, I didn't have my pad kapow, so potentially. I'm gonna have a pad kapow here if I can find a good place. One, we want it to be Thai food. And uh, I say that, and like in the corner of my eye, I see a Swedish flag, and I'm like, IKEA? No. Um, so we have loads of different Thai food as options. But you want the pad kapow. Yeah, there's a lot of Thai, Japanese, Korean, yeah. quite a big mix of foods here. So the more that we walk around, the more that we find that it's, there's a lot of Western food here yeah. and it's a lot of just not Thai food but the food does look awesome oh I've had this before fat bros is literally just grilled grilled meats on a stick it's really nice we also have on rice if you want something on rice the prices in here are pretty insane usually malls are a little bit more expensive but this one this one seems very expensive some dishes are like 200, 300 baht for what you'd expect to be less than 100. Yeah, but you're actually sat down in an actual restaurant in the section sort of thing. It's not just one big eating area. It seems to be more restaurants than a food court. And that's why the prices are a little bit more. Um, so we might have to change what we want to eat because I haven't even been able to find anywhere selling pad kapow. Are you finding a pad kapow? Oh, here, kapow. But look at the prices, 230 for a pad yeah. kapow. But, I mean, that's the best we're going to be able to do here now, right? Yeah, yeah. Shall we? I think we should sit here, yeah. Oh, they even have a vegetarian menu. Yeah, so the prices in here are way more expensive than what you'd usually see in any Thai restaurants. Even a corn somtam is 165 baht. But. It's obviously extremely popular and I would say it's not filled with Westerners so obviously it's got a legit taste to it. So I think I'm going to go for a pad kapow just because I haven't had one yet. That's about five pounds plus then you need to pay seven percent and ten percent on top of that so this will probably be the most expensive pad kapow I've ever had. But we are in a very luxurious mall. And I know you can get pad kapow for 40 baht, but we are here and we're hungry, so. And it's nice. You know, I love this side of the road, just sit on a little plastic chair, love that. But right now we're in air conditioning. It's also nice. It's got its time and place and we're here. I'm also gonna have a pad kapow. This looks really good. Oh, the egg, look at that. What did you get? An iced Thai milk tea. Mm. 
Oh, that's nice. And I've gone for a lime soda. My pad for pao tao hu, aka tofu, has also arrived. Smells so nice. It smells really, really nice. And then, look at that egg. Yeah. That looks good. That looks so good. That's perfect. Sour, but sweet as well at the same time. At 230 baht, it has to be good. We said spicy, so let's see. That's exactly like the pad kapow that I like. Like sweet and sticky. Mmm. Packs a punch as well. Wow. I still wouldn't say it's worth 230 baht plus taxes, but very, very good. I'm excited. I'm so hungry. What you've seen us eat today is what we've eaten today. Oh, with that egg. And I also asked for spicy, which I don't know if I'm going to be regretting. <laughs> Good, right? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so nice. That egg is great as well. Wow. Now, I can taste that we're back in Thailand. <laughs> oh, that dish just got spicier and spicier. I think it was this uh, fish sauce with chilies in it. Oh my god, no, my nose really is running. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's getting worse. I, had, I finished eating about two minutes ago. <sighs> and it's really nice. We did, we did ask for spicy. Mine is also giving me slightly sweaty eyelids. So that's when you know, okay, it's, it's pretty spicy. <laughs> but we are in Bangkok and we did ask for spicy. And they actually gave it to us. <laughs> okay, that was... A little bit expensive, but it was actually cheaper than the two cocktails we had earlier. <laughs> that meal with two drinks was 780 baht, which is kind of unheard of, really. Um, and we would never For usually... For us, anyway, we wouldn't normally eat at a place like this. Not because it's not nice, just because in Thailand you can get actual Thai street food for a fraction of this price and equally delicious. Yeah. But we're here to check out this place. We should probably get dessert afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get one dessert. Yeah. Just to show you how sort of westernized this place is, behind me is a Gordon Ramsay pizza restaurant, which I didn't even know Gordon Ramsay had. Yeah, I mean, it's got a little bit for everyone. If you like food, then you'd probably like this place. And if you like desserts, then you'd probably definitely like this place because there's so many dessert options and they tend to be a little bit more affordable, right? Yeah. Let's find one. What are you ordering? I don't actually know what they're called, but you get a little menu like this, and I think they're just sort of sweet buns filled with delicious things. We've gone for, oh, look at that. I, right? We've gone for sugar butter, which sounds delicious, and pandan custard. Oh yeah. We got a little box of dessert. It is hot, hot, hot. When they said toasted, they weren't missing them out. From how I understand it, because I couldn't read anything, it is just two toasted sweet buns. One of them is lined with butter and sugar. That's it. And the other one with pandan custard. Pandan is this green leaf that they use a lot in Thailand to sort of flavor custards and sweet desserts. And it gives it a really delicious flavor. Which one should we try first? Pandan. Mmm. That's quite nice. Not as sweet as I was anticipating. And these were 30 baht each, which is pretty cheap, especially for somewhere like this. Uh, They're almost babe. Probably a little bit. Oh, mm. yeah, that's not overly sweet. No. That's really good. I feel like all we've done today is consume things. That's fine. But we're back in, we're back in Thailand. I feel like that's fine. And we have one more thing that's so cool which may or may not involve also consuming a lot more stuff tonight. And it's a little bit later, so we'll have to head back to the hotel, chill out a little bit, Freshen and then up. do that. Freshen up, because it's a little bit fancier as well. But I'm very excited for it. Turns out our boat cruise that we'd been looking forward to for weeks has been canceled last minute. What a shame. But that's okay, since we've got some exciting plans coming up tomorrow. See you then. Bye.